I must say, we should all be as fortunate as the founders at New England Boat Company. While their success and growth is more the exception than the rule for most startups, the route they've traveled through the financial reporting process is pretty typical for most companies. Think about what they and we have accomplished to this point. We started the process with the basics. Why do we have financial statements? What role do they play in the economy? How do individual transactions get captured and accumulated into something we call a balance sheet or income statement? Then we reviewed the income statement and got a look at some of the different ways in which accountants view the world, like accrual accounting. Did I say cruel accounting? No, accrual accounting. And cost flow assumptions for inventory and depreciation for fixed assets. And finally, we reviewed the statement of cash flows, the last piece in the reporting puzzle. While most of you probably started this course with at least some basic understanding of the income statement, by now you should appreciate much more the need to know all three statements if you truly want a complete financial picture of the firm. Once you got comfortable with the form and content of the financial statements, we needed to figure out how to use that information to gain insights into the financial performance of a company. The best way to do that is with the ratios. Ratios are one of the most powerful tools an investor has for evaluating a firm's past performance and predicting what it can do in the future. Which brings us to this week, predicting the future. You didn't know we were going to be looking into the future in this course, did you? Well, we are, and we use a process called forecasting to do it. Forecasting involves creating what we think our financial statements will look like in the future, in a month or three months or a year. When you stop to think about that, it can seem like a pretty difficult task, especially with all those line items that make up the balance sheet and income statement. Don't worry, it's not that hard, and believe it or not, it can be fun, since this is our chance to shape the future. If you're optimistic, you can create a very profitable forecast. Feeling a bit more pessimistic? Eh, then maybe we predict a less profitable year. We'll start by forecasting sales, then the various operating expenses, and then move over to project the major balance sheet accounts. And we'll finish up by doing sensitivity analysis, which is where we get to use the real power of the forecasting process. Let's do it. Let's get started predicting the future.